What up, you guys? Today, um, I'm going to be going over my EDC bag, everyday carry for those who don't know. EDC means everyday carry. I'm going to be going over my bag that I got from 3D Gear, okay? Um, this bag, I believe, is called the Sling Shot. Not the Sling Shot. The Sling Pack, I think it is. And it's about $35 or so. Um, and you can go on their website. They have great customer service. They're excellent, but this is a bag that I carry every day. And normally, um, if I'm going to stay with someone's house or if I'm going to work, um, I have this with me. It's very sturdy, it's very comfortable, and um, I use it pretty much for everything. It comes with two patches, the American flag and the 3D gear uh, patch. And if you come in a little closer, I'm gonna actually show you what's in the bag. This patch in the middle is, um, for uh it's actually a, a patch for, for a local gun club that i uh, go to um but before i try it on i'm going to show you the strap here and as you can see it has a lot of molly web going on here has um loops if you want to add anything also has a very sturdy buckle i love this bag and back here it has soft padding so that if you have anything back here or if it's if you're wearing it, um, it's not hard against your back. So let me try it on so I can show you um, what it looks like with it on. So here we have it. I just slide it over my head here. And um, it's easy to adjust. If I'm on my bike, um, you know, I'll make sure I strap it even tight with this extra, extra strap here so it holds it steady. Also, let's just say if I come to a stop sign or or what have you, and I just wanna whip it around real quick. I can whip it around, get whatever, get whatever I need out of here. And so it's super simple, but again, it just goes on just like that. And you can use the straps, and it's pretty much how it looks behind. All right, so let me uh, show you what's inside the bag. And uh, Maybe it's something that, you know, you would think would be useful in your everyday carry. So we'll start here with the top. So we have um, a pocket here. And before we get on the pockets, if you look at these, uh, uh, these zippers, they're pretty sturdy, you know. I don't have any problems. They have a nice loop here so you can catch it and um, unzip it if you need to. So inside here, I have a set of headphones that I use. Um, sometimes I use it for poker. Half the time I'm not even listening to the music. I just have it on to drown out the noise in the back or so no one bothers me. Um, I also carry a uh, few uh, post-it notes. You never know when you're going to need them. A couple of cough drops. I have a headlamp in here. You're never going to have enough lighting. Vaseline. <clears throat> and some chapstick. So that's in that pocket. And not, a lot of that stuff comes in handy. Again, I'm using something in here every day, okay? Oh, I meant to mention that it actually has a strap up here if you wanna lift it up. Uh, in the second pocket here, it's a little bit of deodorant, body spray, and some lotion. I also carry a micro uh, fiber cloth, which comes in handy uh, at the gun range sometimes. In this pocket right here, I have a few different things. I have a pen, a Sharpie, I have a flashlight that I'm able, this is pretty unique. I'm able to turn it and it'll focus and centralize on a certain location to zoom in or it, it will expand um, and show you a greater, greater lighting. But I love this little uh, flashlight. It always comes in handy. Here's a utility tool that I use. You never know when you're gonna just need a little set of pliers for something you know you're outside you need it for your bike your car what have you so i have this that i use and i actually found this in the house somewhere i forgot where i found it and uh i threw it in here and it's actually it's actually pretty neat uh last thing in this pocket here and by the way this has a lot of molly web so that's how this stuff is staying uh inside it's with the, it's with the molly web inside here there are napkins that i have Never can get enough of that. I also have a spork in here. And this is a pretty dandy um, outdoor tool because say, say if you're out and about, you're camping or you're, you know, you just forgot to grab a fork or a spoon. This is half fork, half spoon, half utility tool. So right in here, it's like a, 
uh, like a hex tool where you can you can um, unscrew something that may be on your gun or maybe on an appliance. You can use that. This is also a bottle opener here. I forgot what this part, this dimension of the uh, the um, utility tool is used for, but uh, I'm sure you can use it for something. Right here is a little blade. So if you need to saw off, um, maybe you're out fishing or something, and you need to, a little blade for the for the wire, you can use that. Also, there's an attachment here. So if I wanted to hook it up to one of these loops, I can. Um, I choose not to because it's a sport and I'll be using it um, in my mouth. So I try to keep it in the back and keep it clean. Also, I almost forgot to mention my Tac Force uh, knife. And this is a, a knife that I keep in my bag. I also have one on my person and um, it's pretty unique because you never know when you're going to need a knife. In fact, I use a knife and a flashlight more than I use anything else. So here's the Tac Force knife. Um, it obviously has a handle where you can uh, put it on your pants. It also has another little blade here if you want to cut some wire. And this is pretty unique. I was told that if you ever get in a situation where you need to punch out glass, that is what that is used for. So I actually like this knife. I haven't had to use it because I've used it in one of my person um, if I ever need a knife, but I always keep it in here just in case. All right, we get into the meat of the bag here. Inside, there are a few things. First, I have a little mini uh, med kit. You never know when you're gonna need it. Also, here's another part of the med kit that I have some antibacterial um, sanitizer, a leave, gloves, just in case I have to use them, gauze pads, band-aids. Um, so that comes in handy as well. Also, sometimes I break out, so I have some Claritin with me, um, Q-tips, a lighter. You never know when you're gonna you're gonna need that. I'm getting a little deeper, um, cleansing wipes. I always have these. You, you, I always use these, especially after shooting. Um, they come in handy. Powder. I don't use it that often, but I have it in there just in case. A comb. Well, because you gotta comb your hair, right? <laughs> um, Oh, a glow stick. If I'm ever traveling and I get stuck on the side of the road, I just pop this sucker and I'll have a little bit of light. Uh, so that's useful. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and also here is my uh, life straw. So if it's ever, you know, is there ever a time that you're in a situation where there's an emergency and you can't get clean water, you can use this filter to suck up water in a river or a stream and it will filter the bacteria, the bacteria in the water and you'll suck it out through here. So it's good for emergency situations. I mean, obviously you're not gonna use this if you go camping, if you can boil water and use that, but this is, this is for real emergencies. So that definitely comes in handy. Usually I'll put, I have enough room back here where if I have my wallet, sometimes I'm riding my bike, I'll put my wallet back here to make sure that it doesn't move. And so it's plenty of room for that and I just, uh, flip this strap over and I'm good. All right, last but not least, there's a pocket back here. Um, I'll have some more chapstick in here. Um, I think I have some zip ties that I have back there just in case and uh, some hand sanitizer because I'm, I'm definitely a germaphobe, so I always keep that with me. Last but not least, if I am wearing, um, I'll I would sometimes have my uh, practice in safety. I'll have my pistol here, and usually it's with my holster, so I'll, I'll take it out and I'll, I'll put it in. Uh, let me just put this down. I always have my holster with me. But if I'm carrying this, and again, this is my MMP compact. I just got it uh, a couple weeks ago. I absolutely love it. But um, if I'm carrying it, I'll always keep it and a holster and um, because it's safe and sometimes if I'm riding I'll carry it back here and if it's and if I'm carrying it in this bag then I never let this bag leave my sight ever because it's I'm you know a responsible gun owner um, have my permit and you know you never let your firearm out of your sight so if it's on me then it's on me if I'm not um, carrying it 
then I keep it in this bag. So again, this is the bag. And oh, I didn't even tell you about this. This is a paracord bracelet and I'm actually wearing one right now. I forgot the company that I got this from, but if you unravel this, it holds up to about 500 pounds. So if you're out and about, you need to make a raft or um, you need to string something together, it will hold up to five, 600 pounds. And it also comes with a fire starter, which you would use there, comes with a whistle and a compass. And so I, this is something that I wear every day uh, just because I'm used to it at this point. But um, they came three in a pack. And one of the good things about it is if you ever have to use this in an emergency situation, they will replace it for you. And you get three of them. Like I got this one, this one, and I think like a, a green one. So um, these are always, you know, they're, they're good. They're just to have one is pretty good. And they're pretty stylish. So, you know, when you wear it, people ask you, oh, what's that? But it's definitely a, um, a, tool, a survival tool. So again, this is my EDC bag, everyday carry bag. I carry this with me to work, to overnight stays, wherever I'm going, I have this bag with me. And it's, it's very sturdy, the material is amazing. The customer service is awesome. This color here happens to be foliage green, I believe. It almost looks gray. It's like a mix between gray and green. And I was confused at first because um, I couldn't figure out what the color was and I wasn't sure if I ordered this color and I, I ended up calling them and they told me this is what it was and they compared, they showed me other colors and great customer service. But anyway, I think I got it for like, I don't know, like 35 bucks shipped. So I'll put a link down below for you guys to look at. But um, again, you can't go wrong with this bag. I love it. And if you wanna, if you want more content like this, please uh, subscribe. Always appreciate the thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Peace.